Hello, welcome to the vlog. It is Monday, start of the week, and off to a great start so far. Went to the gym this morning. Um, I got a little app that has uh, gym workouts um, for every day of the week. So I'm excited about that because when I went to the gym on Thursday, I realized, man, I have not really spent time in a gym in a long time. So putting together a workout, um, it used to be, you know, I knew kind of exactly what I wanted to do and had that all figured out with all the different equipment, but I haven't used it in so long. I was like, I'm not really sure what I need to be doing. So found an app that's got a great workout plan, um, hopefully, and I, I can change it up as I go, adjust what I'm doing. So, so far, great start to the week. It really is, it's really great to be able to work out in the morning uh, so much more energy to start the day so excited about that I'm trying to um, be mindful of what I'm eating today uh, I put a, a limit on the amount of calories that I'm hoping to eat the, the goal today is to eat under a certain number um, just because so, so I can really start to try to get this uh, this thing kicked off and going well I think last time I was trying to do the diet um, and I lost, I don't know, I lost like seven or eight pounds, um, but I wasn't really working out as well. I was doing a little bit of working out, but not a ton. So I'm trying to combine the two, and I think the results should be a lot faster. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to. That's the start of the week. Um, I'm also, I'm also hoping uh, this week to get some news on some of the uh, modeling, mostly the acting agencies, the stuff that I'm going to be sending out to the different people. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be getting some news on that, so stay posted for that information as it comes in. Um, again, it's just sort of it's just sort of a waiting game. That's how it works, but I'm hoping to have some response this week. Uh, and as always, I will let you guys know when and if I do. So yeah, I'm uh, just excited to start the week. Um, I, I do just want to say that what happened in Las Vegas um, uh, last night was it was terrible. It was absolutely awful. Um, it's really unfortunate to watch what the response is uh, online, watch people's responses that they immediately turn um, this tragic event, this tragic shooting uh, into this political back and forth. And it's, it just gets so ugly and so personal. And, and you know, everybody has an answer and everything, everybody's angry about something political. They're not even talking about who this guy was or what the situation was. You know, everyone's like, well, you need to call it terrorism, but it's not going to be called terrorism because it's white. And it's like, wait, hold on. Okay, you call it terrorism if you want to. Call it, call it whatever you want to. That's fine. The reason that people are hesitant to call it terrorism is that terrorism is currently used to describe a specific group of people with a specific ideology, which is the reason that radical Islamic terrorism is really sort of the full term that I think should be used more so when people are talking about radical Islamic terrorism. Um, so it's, it's unfortunate um, that, that that's the conversation that's happening. It's people are just really angry about how it's being worded. Oh, was this guy a terrorist or was he this or was he that? It's like, I, we don't know yet. We don't know why this guy did what he did yet. Um, and, and if his motivation was that he was a crazy, a political, you know, just angry about something and he decided to do it, well, it's still, it's still terrorized a bunch of people. He killed a bunch of people and it's awful. And whatever his reasoning for it needs to be looked at and examined. We need to figure out if there's something you can do about that, something you can do to address um, the situations that are that are leading people like that to want to take this kind of action, obviously. But for anybody to post now and pretend like they know exactly what's going on and why it happened, the guy's dead. He's not going to give you an answer at this point. The best option you have is to wait and see. And then you're not going to look like an idiot who was out there screaming and yelling and hoping that your tweet was the right one. Your tweet was the one that happened to get it right when everyone was guessing. So then you can go, see, I told you so. It's, it's really unfortunate. I believe it's 50 people are dead and over 100 or 200 people are injured. That's, I think we owe it to those people and their families and the people affected by this to see what comes out and figure out what actually happened. Because we're losing, we're losing, um, we're losing the reality of the situation in the argument. 
and that is not good. So anyway, that's my thought on that the shooting in Las Vegas. And unfortunately, I know that it's just going to get more and more politicized. Um, I know it's going to be another call for more gun control and, you know, take away guns and bad people won't do bad things anymore. Sure. Okay. You can have that conversation if you want to. But for me, I'm going to hopefully just wait and see. And then if I feel like I need to respond, I will. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow.